and this video is titled the nine steps to help you find the right house now obviously there's a lot <laughs> that goes into buying a house but this is actually about finding the right house it's not about the mechanics of the offer or the transaction or the financing it's literally about how to find the right house for you in the timing that's right for you and there are nine steps now before we get to the nine steps there are actually two quick things that I want to talk about up front firstly pick a good agent it is possible to go down this road and begin this process without a good agent and I actually have a video separately right here on the playlist that tells you how and what to do about finding the right agent and then secondly remember buying a house is simply a process of elimination right now in Orange County there are 4600 homes on the market last year this time there were over 7500 homes on the market so how do you start wide and narrow down to just a couple of houses that could be the right one for you so let's take a look at these nine items number one pick a target move-in date so what you want to do here is take a look at your schedule your finances your schooling your kids schooling vacations everything that goes into the next few months to a year or whatever and to identify the very best date for you to move into a new home now of course this can be written in in pencil it can be moved up or moved back depending on the marketplace your own needs because life happens ideally you pick a date out that's at least four to six months from now or whenever it is that you're going to start your process that gives you plenty of time important thing pick a target move-in date number two establish minimum criteria so these are the basic features of the home that you would like you want to pick your city neighborhood the square footage the room count things of that nature it's important here to be very very broad you do not want to get too specific at this point because for the first few months of your search it's not going to be about finding the right house it's going to be about educating yourself number three understand your key benefits this right here may be the single most important part of the process of course it's super easy to figure out what you want I want a four bedroom four bath in the city of Irvine with a little bit of a yard that's easy the key benefits help identify the whys of what you want for example my wife very important to her is safety and security me on the other hand it's about aesthetics and look <laughs> another example both for my brother and my dad the kitchen is the most important part of the home that's the what but the whys for both of those guys are very different for my dad the kitchen is the place that he putters around and makes food and experiments with recipes the kitchen for him is all about his own personal experience of the kitchen why is the kitchen important to him because that's where he does his stuff on his own on the other hand my brother the kitchen for him is the center of any sort of entertainment function he couldn't even imagine being in the kitchen on his own he wants friends family all standing there a bunch of people talking drinking enjoying themselves the what for my brother is the kitchen the why is because that's central to his entertainment so I have a process for my clients where I help them identify of 13 different motivations their whys and those include things like aesthetics and comfort prestige privacy safety value there's 13 different items a good agent will help you identify the whys that are important to you and that can become extremely important later on down the line so spend some time up front thinking about why particular features are important to you another one that just comes to mind you might want a backyard because it looks really good to you or that it tells your family and friends that you're successful but your spouse may want a big backyard because they want to put the kids out there to run around or I have another client that needs a backyard because he's got three dogs that need to run around same effect a yard with different whys for each of those
Number four, set up an internet market search based upon your criteria. Now, this is how you cast a net to find which properties that meet your criteria are available for sale. Now, you can do this on Zillow or Realtor.com, but first of all, the information there is not very good. Sometimes it's not reliable and sometimes it's not up to date. Also, as Zillow and Realtor.com are a free service, that's because the thing that is for sale is you. Realtors and lenders pay a fortune to get access to you and to market to you on those sites. It can become extremely irritating. Far better to have an agent set it up on the MLS itself. That way you'll get the freshest and most current information so you can focus on the specific market niche that you're interested in. Number five, evaluate the homes in your search online. So this is easy. Everybody does this all the time. Quickly scroll through the houses that come up, swipe left, swipe right, figure out which houses are interesting to you. And that leads to the next step. Number six, drive by the interesting homes. At this point, don't waste your time or a home seller's time by arranging a tour. You can eliminate a lot of homes with a simple five second drive by. The house may actually look different from the street. The street itself you don't like. The neighbors, something about those homes, or maybe there's something over the back fence that you don't like. There's no need to arrange a tour if you can eliminate just with a quick drive by a bunch of those homes. You can actually drive by 10 or 15 homes in the space of time it would take to tour just one. So do that first and then make sure to keep note after you've driven by which homes still remain compelling because then that will lead us to the next step. Number seven, tour compelling homes. So at this point is when you need to get your agent involved. Contact them, tell them that you've driven by homes, there's a handful that remain compelling, and now you wanna go take a tour. And this also brings up the point of where your target date, once again, becomes very important. If you're more than 60 days out from your target date, touring a home at this point is valuable for informational purposes, for education, for price ranges, for floor plans, things like that. You're not really evaluating whether or not this is a particular house you want, you're just trying to educate yourself. Now, of course, if you want to move your target date, or if you're within 60 days of your target date, then the home tour becomes a very different process. Number eight, evaluate homes when you're within 60 days of your target date. Now, if you're within 60 days, touring a home is simply a process of deciding, do I like this house? And if I do, then you wanna compare it to your key benefits. It's really important to ask yourself the question. If your primary benefits are comfort and aesthetics and entertainment, for example, you want to decide, hey, how does this rate on the appearance? How does this rate on making me feel? And is this the kind of place that I can entertain folks at? It's really important to have done the homework ahead of time to understand what's important to you because this can help you be far more efficient in evaluating homes and also it keeps you from just deciding based upon a gut feel. If you have a bit more of a system that helps you decide and prioritize and evaluate homes, you're far more likely to decide upon a house that you can actually be happy in long term. And of course, that's the entire goal. Number nine, write an offer on the right home. So eight steps have been taken, tons of work, months have gone by, and now you're ready to go. If the home ranks high for your key benefits, then you wanna write an offer. Now, if you've chosen a good agent, they're gonna show you the five strategies that you will need in order to pay the lowest possible price for that home, or in a competitive environment, how to win in a multiple offer situation. And hopefully with step nine, you're successful. So if you've got further questions for me about these nine steps, or you would like me to show you my system for going through this process and the five strategies that I use for my clients, 
please contact me. My number is 949-413-2371 and my email address is michael at housemgroup.com. Thank you so much and good luck to you.